Madam Chair, can I ask to clarify? In that video, who set up that red rope? Do you know, was that you guys? The what? The, the rope in the video? Who's, who's? I think they're the ones. So the you guys have Please them. don't answer, let the librarian answer. Who, who did that? Was that you, Mr. Meyer, or the librarians? You guys put the red rope? Library and staff, I'm sorry. Men. Those are stanchions that are from the, the library. Okay, all right, that's not something these folks brought and did. Okay, so basically the library is putting up a kind of stay that way, and we won't bother you, and you don't bother us. That, so That was not the intent of that. that oh, the, can you the, help us explain the intent? Oh. We asked for permissions explicitly to host additional library events outside in the parking lot from the shopping center. We asked for a specific space within that. We presented a map that cordoned off this specific area around the North Valley's library. It's a unique shape, so it affords us a place to set up like a safety barrier. Because it is a public driving area, people are driving through, we wanted to try to make that as safe as possible. Though the stanchion and the vehicles or cones that were there were specifically there to demarcate that space where the event was happening on the inside. So people knew kind of from a safety standpoint, you don't want to let your kids just, you know, run free out there or it had nothing to do with keeping anyone separated for any other reason other than safety. Okay, thank have you. Have you in fact seen the video? I have not. Well, we've just seen it. And Mr. Meyer is on the other side of the cones that you've referred to as creating a protected area. Yes. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand then what provoked you to ask him to leave considering he was in the area that you were not protecting. And I'm sorry, this is difficult, I know. And, and we're in a difficult <coughs> situation because this is not a courtroom, no one's on trial. We're discussing as a voluntary board a suspension and just trying to better understand what we can. We've watched a video, it might help you if you saw the video, but we clearly see Mr. Meyer at least six feet away from you, not in your face, as you suggested, but six feet away on the other side of the cones. With a gentleman who doesn't appear to be with Mr. Meyer, at some point he makes a comment, Mr. Meyer, I'm not sure if he's your friend or was there with you. He was surprised. He had a very large sign, but he also was on the other side. So there's no intention of upsetting you. You're not on trial. No one is on trial here. We're trying to do our best to understand the appeal that is um, before us. And so if you don't feel comfortable at the moment, I understand completely. And I'll defer my question to Mr. Scott. Mr. Scott, what, what is a, what, did you see the video? I did not watch the video. Can we ask you to watch the video? Sure. Because I think that would be helpful because we only know what we're seeing, okay? I think in, um, in consideration, it would just be that, what do we think the, the right amount of time or is there an amount of time that is worth while now that there is this video that I haven't seen? Well, uh, Trustee Mosher, we're asking, we're asking the uh, library director that's to view the video because that's all we have to go by. And we have the librarian's report. Well, what it appears to me, just describing the video, is that uh, Mr. Meyer is getting a confrontation with John and Mal at, a, at the entry point for the Ringo Fest. So where they're arguing is that where people would enter, there's a story time inside the library, but outside there's the Ringo Fest. And that's where we have booths, people can do crafts, that kind of thing. So. But you see the, 